Replacing a diaphragm in any KDV diaphragm valve is a very straightforward process. Importantly, it can be carried out without the removal of the valve from the line. Correct diaphragm replacement, carried out in accordance with the processes outlined in the following demonstration, will ensure that your KDV diaphragm valve continues to offer dependable, leak-proof service. Before disassembly, rotate the hand wheel anti-clockwise and fully open the valve to relieve any line pressure and ensure any harmful media clears the valve. Loosen the bonnet nuts in a diagonal pattern. and remove the bonnet. Rotate the hand wheel clockwise to the fully closed position to relieve the pressure exerted on the diaphragm by the compressor. Remove the diaphragm by rotating at 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Line up the pin on the new diaphragm with the keyway on the compressor. Push firmly to ensure that the pin is fully engaged in the keyway and rotate the diaphragm 90 degrees clockwise. Rotate the hand wheel anti-clockwise. The diaphragm should sit in line with the bonnet. Make sure that the holes in the diaphragm line up with the bonnet bolt holes. Position the bonnet over the body, ensuring that the bonnet and body bolt holes are aligned properly. The diaphragm tab should be facing outwards, not in line with the valve. Insert the bolts and finger tighten the nuts. Rotate the hand wheel until the valve is completely closed. The bonnet nuts must be tightened with a calibrated torque wrench, following the diagonal sequence shown here for 4 or 8 bolt valves. Tighten the nuts according to the recommended torque settings. Now rotate the hand wheel anti-clockwise to the fully open position. And retorque the bonnet nuts, again observing the correct tightening sequence. Your KDV diaphragm valve is now ready for service.